Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Econo Challenge and welcome to my not so wild vlog. Now I know it's been a little while since I uploaded a video and I'll explain that as soon as I get to where I'm going. So stay tuned. Okay, first of all, I wanna say thank you. Thank you very much to everybody who sent me a private message or commented under a video or even sent me an email to my email address or commented on my Facebook page wondering how I'm doing. I'm happy to report that I'm fine. But let me explain why it's been, I don't know, about four months since I uploaded a video. I decided to move in with my longtime girlfriend which meant that I had to pack up everything I own and put it into boxes just to see how many boxes it took. <laughs> I love that joke. Now I admit the timing of that wasn't the best. I did it towards the end of the year and I took a couple of months just to sort through all my stuff and get rid of stuff that I didn't need, donate. And then when I arrived, I took another month or so to unpack everything including the computer that I edit all of these videos on. I'm looking for some firewood. I need a fire. So there's only eight weekends or so that you can do that sort of work. And it was right before Christmas. So after I unpacked and got everything set up, I spent the rest of my time getting caught up on back orders because I sold out before Christmas, chairs and cots. And I've just now got caught up and even have a little bit of stock ahead. So I figure I've earned a day out in the wilderness. And man, does it ever feel good. I've missed you guys. I hope I see you in the comments down below in this video. Because today I'm going to show you a few things that I've been doing and uh, I'd love to hear what you have to say about it. <laughs> this guy. Now I was going to try and get that fire started using a bow drill kit, but I practice getting coals with a bow drill kit at home quite a bit. But what I don't practice is how to blow that coal into a flame using a bird's nest. So today I thought I would try a coal created by a chaga chunk and use that in my bird's nest and just practice blowing that into a flame. You know what I hatchet jack says, practice, practice, practice.
now if we can just keep the smoke going in the same direction. Now today, I brought with me my world famous cook kit. And remember, it's called the world famous cook kit because the pot is made by world famous and it's actually the world famous mountain mug. Now I say the best endorsement a guy can give to a piece of kit, especially a piece of DIY kit like this, is is he still using it year after year after year? And I can honestly say that since I've designed this kit, it has been the way I have cooked my meals out in the wilderness for almost a decade now. Now if this is your first time hearing me talk about the world famous cook kit, then be sure to check the description down below. I'll put a link to some videos that I've uploaded about it. But today I wanted to talk to you about the inside of the kit. This is the wood pellet hobo stove. And what I noticed this year when I got it out was that the can had started to rust quite a bit and the supports inside that hold up this burner plate started to rust. And so I can honestly say now that one of these recycled cans will last me anyway about three years before it needs to be replaced. And that's using it as a wood stove anyway about six times a year. Most of the time when I'm using that wood pellet hobo stove, those supports inside are actually holding this pop can stove that I made. And that burns alcohol. But as you saw earlier, I took out this support right here. And that's for burning solid fuel like esbit cubes. And if I happen to run out of fuel while I'm on a trip, I can pop in this mesh screen right here. And that allows me to burn the wood pellets that I make in the stove. So you can imagine if these supports in here break off, then this little stove becomes next to useless for burning anything. Here's a cool thing I learned this year. If you guys have ever used a DIY pop can stove, you know it has two speeds, full tilt and off. There's no simmer. And so I've mentioned that a few times and it was Forest Walker 111 that suggested that I try out a Trangia spirit burner because it has this simmer ring on top that allows you to adjust the flame and you can get a bit of a simmer. Now, I've tried it out a few times now and it is a little tricky to get it to actually simmer without going out, but it does work. The significant advantage of the Trangia burner is the fact that you can store fuel in it. So if you happen to fill up your spirit burner full and you don't use it all, you can snuff it out and then keep the fuel. Pop can stove, not so much. You can try and pour out the remaining fuel, but most of the time you have to be as accurate as possible to get the water to boil with the exact amount of fuel or you're wasting it. Now in previous videos, you've seen me use this Trangia spirit burner inside a Bushcraft Essentials pot stand that I have. But the really cool part about it is, now I know this will fit inside the wood pellet hobo stove. Now I need to make myself a fresh pot of hot tea. I could use that fire over there to do it, but I wanna try this new little setup. Now I know you'll probably be expecting me to brew some spruce needle tea or maybe some shaga tea, but today I'm going to be brewing some Sherpa tea. I couldn't resist, I saw this in a store in Ottawa and it just made me laugh. Let me read to you the description of Sherpa tea. Traditional tea blend of Himalayan herbs that enhances and regenerates physical strength. It invigorates in tiredness, gives energy and pleasantly warms up the organism. Sherpas of the Himalayan region originally came from East Tibet. They are kind, tough, and strong people who know Himalayan herbs and their properties very well. Proper herbal combinations give Sherpas the strength of 1,000 yaks on their way up the mountain. So after my hike today, I'm all about feeling the strength of 1,000 yaks. 
I don't know about you. Now, I've never had Sherpa tea before, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to want to sweeten it because I like my tea sweet. And I like to sweeten it with honey. And honey is a challenge to use even in the summertime, but in the wintertime, it gets pretty thick. And I found this. This is dried honey. It comes in these little packages, blister packs, you just pop it out. And one of these is equal to a teaspoon of honey. So I'm trying them out today, but I have been using these at home and they're fantastic. Now these little things are new to me. They're a Canadian product. I don't know where you can get them, but if they have a website, I'll put a link in the description down below. Sure smells really interesting. Oh no, we're losing our tea. Give it a good stir to help that honey dissolve. Tastes like wood. Just joking. Okay, Sherpa tea. Let's see how this tastes. Mmm, smells spicy. Mmm. Tastes spicy. Mmm. Very interesting. It's hard to describe. It's herbal tea, but it's spicy. Mm. That honey really sweetens it just enough. But the question is, will I have the strength of a thousand Sherpas? I have the strength of a thousand Sherpas. <laughs> I love being out here. Ooh, almost forgot. I have a special treat to try. Do you guys remember when we reviewed moon cheese? Yeah, don't smell too good. But... And it looks like, uh, I don't know some kind of cheese it's real light and dehydrated or something here it goes well this is a product that is made by a company very close to me called Ivanhoe cheese company and it's called nothing but cheese and this is cheddar flavor now I've already tried this that's why I brought it out with me it's a little snack but these puppies I'm gonna get the package open oh. <laughs> Our Little cheese snacks, just like moon cheese. Mmm. The chunky cheese snack made with 100% cheese. It doesn't taste like fresh cheddar cheese, obviously. High in protein, gluten-free, no preservatives, high in calcium. Nothing but cheese. Cheddar flavor by Ivanhoe Cheese Company. By the way, this is not a paid sponsorship, just in case you're wondering. I'm not that big. But if I like something, I'll tell you. Mmm. So good. Now we reached a high of minus five today. So I'm pretty sure if I tried to bring real cheese out here, it'd be frozen by now. Now my fire is almost out. So I'm going to have to pack up start heading out shouldn't be too much of a problem i've got sherpa tea on board <laughs> it's times like this i'm on a wilderness lake in canada and I'm drinking a tea made from herbs from 
the Himalayan mountains. Humanity's done some pretty amazing things, haven't we? Thank you very much for coming to watch my video. Hopefully I'll be back to a more regular upload schedule. I look forward to seeing you in the comments down below. Don't forget to check the links that are beside my head here for more information about some of the stuff I talked about in this video today. And don't forget to check the description down below for even more links. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the comments. Bye for now.